Hey guys, my name's Adrian. I'm the um, operations manager and one of the counsellors here at Scuttle. Um, we've been shooting a few extra videos lately, and today I thought I'd better do one as well. Can't let Adam have all the uh, spotlight all the time um, to chuck up on our YouTube channel. Um, I was having a chat with someone the other day, and they we were talking about solution focus brief therapy, which is one of the models that we use here at Scuttle in our work with families, um, and I was trying to explain to them some of the theories behind it and some of the ideas. And in doing so, I found that it got really complicated and there was, um, they were more confused rather than uh, sort of walking away with any answers. And I remember having a chat a while back with um, a colleague down at a conference and we were probably just um, shooting it around a little bit. And the more we talked, the more we realized that it really comes down to three key questions, solution focused therapy. You know, there's a lot of theories around it and ideas and history, but it really comes down to the three key questions. Um, when you're talking about a problem or something that people want to change in their life, you ask the question, how would you know this was different? How would you want this to be different in your life? How would you know it was, you know, changing or being different? Um, what would you be noticing? What would other people be noticing? So you're really framing it up in terms of how would this, how would you actually know that this was happening? What would you be noticing and what would other people be noticing? And probably the other key question that you might ask is what else? It's the most famous solution focused question. You don't just take it on the first answer. What would you, what would you be noticing? Oh, I wouldn't, um, I'd be able to get out of bed with more energy in the morning. What else? What else? What else? So it's really those three key questions plus the little one of what else that summarizes that approach in that you're not interested so much in delving into the history of the problem, but more how would you notice if it wasn't around so much. Thanks for listening. See you next time.